Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of our Thrawn's Revenge 3.2 preview playthrough as the Panastar alignment. In the last episode we pushed up through the Empire's territory in here and set ourselves up with a kind of four-way entry into our territory though one of them we don't have defended as well as the others. So we are going to continue trying to build up our economy and build up some fleets. Uh, these things at Jameis, we can actually send out to Generis, And we are going to split up Grant and... Oh, we already split up Grant. Never mind. Uh, but we've also got a border with the CSA here now. So our focus is going to be on Zinj, but we need to be a little bit careful. I think Linod is the best for us to go for next. So let's get, so you have chosen death. The Empire just conquered the transitory miss. Again, this is probably one of, if not the last playthrough, where uh, the Hapens aren't going to be expanding a little bit. So that'll be interesting. They did just take Salagus. So we're probably going to take that from them. But Empire... The dregs of your northern forces. I don't want to take them out just yet. We're not going to be going for the core. I'd rather take the north right now. Should be an easy one. This fleet isn't the best with what we have here. Devastator, Star Lord, Sokasoro. Rise of the Federation. And then Trico. Not the Pokemon. Bombers go burn. Oh, I really hope that'd be great. I've never thought about this when I was thinking like what Pokemon I wanted in Pokemon Unite. I really hope they add uh they add Sceptile. That'd be cool. But over here we can have Rikers of Vengeance. And our Sora. Okay, they're they're leaving. I don't necessarily care if we kill all their stuff or not. They're not going to retreat to Salagus because there's no station there, so we can just let that happen. Tier Trigo, I think he's tier 3? 4? I'll check when we're back to the galactic level. Might be lower. So this is being recorded live on Twitch, so I'm going to be answering Twitch questions if there's any as we go along, uh, including that one there. So Trico is tier 5. Yeah, he's shit. Not shit. Still good. Even tier 5 is useful. Uh, but yeah, so... We will... I think Jarek's forces are fine. Yeah. So we're going to take Linod. And I'm gonna take Salagus when we can. Money takers asking are Guardian Protectorate agents and Army Commandos implemented in this current version? Uh, I don't believe they were. I think Bob finished the Guardian Protectorate model, but I don't think they were implemented yet before this started. Owen's asking, in Imperial Reign, what tier of Admiralty would Ozzel be in? He'll probably end up as tier 5. Choose your reinforcements. Alright, Siege Towers. Noda. To Tie Crawlers. ATDP. Alright, so I was... I tried to use... Uh, Noda's ability in the last episode and it crashed uh, and I talked about that but in like 800 battles Nolan and other devs were able to use it properly without an issue so it might have just been a, a coincidence. But I'm going to try it as soon as he's down here but we'll see how that goes well, Jarek I want you over here. Awaiting your orders. Deploying stormtroopers. And 
we'll just trunk deploy the things that are actually not stormtroopers. Alright, and there it worked fine. <laughs> Uh, Jarek, first, can you please take that? And you guys move back. Yeah, I guess you do need to kill them. Yeah, so he deploys ATPTs instead of Stormtroopers. All the little baby ATPTs. Just all curled up in there. Being born live on stream to Cone Valerie. And one is really dumb, so it's trying to walk up a tree. Up there, Jarek. And we can send the little walker brigade we have that side. We got there. Some AA, and there's two structures here. On that one. Up, oh, floating around. Blow them up. Move in here. Someone's asking, are there any concrete ideas about Imperial Rain gameplay, or is it shit? Uh, I mean, I hope it's not going to be shit. But... Depends on your definition of concrete. Like, I've got some stuff worked out in-game. I've got some stuff that's worked out on paper and not implemented in game yet uh that's what a lot of stuff is but it's eh. for even all of the stuff that's in game i haven't even given the team a version of the mod yet that has anything or a rundown of what it's going to be i'm just kind of working on stuff on my own this is a apparently a terrible angle for them there we go uh, so even stuff that's there now, once it goes through everyone else's thoughts, it could just all be removed as well. So there's not really anything solid I can say about any of it. So it'll probably be a while before you start seeing anything from Imperial Reign, but once you do start seeing stuff, it'll probably be a lot all at once. Okay, Jarek. Mistake. Build that set of garrisons and then just stop. I thought I started hearing Jarek with uh, the force crush ability on the structure. Turns out it was my stomach. So. I don't know if that's a bug I need to fix, that my stomach makes that sound. Okay, you can, you can just sit there. You guys can go up and do it. There they go.
I guess that means I'm making dinner after the stream. Bye bye, ATDPs. Bud Bob brought you up, so we added you instead of the MTV7. Alright. I'm gonna swap these guys. And let's get another shipyard at Utrecht. I think Generis will be worth getting. Generis, oh, definitely Tangren. Tangren's gonna be. Tangren and Lenard are both gonna get some. Uh... No. Oh, Tangren ship. We're not. We're not building one. I think the base cost. The base income is zero at Tangren. Thank you, Angry Act, for subscribing for 13 months, saying this is the longest I've ever been subbed to anyone on Twitch. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. There are a few planets that have zero. I was seeing... I saw Tangren with the, the 670 there, and I'm like, oh, is that the base cost? But it's not. That's the... It's minus 670 with the upkeep. So, Bimio there. And then I remember... Like, I Tangren's one of the ones that I remember offhand as being zero. So, I had to grab myself there. Q-Trick's a good one, though. Uh, Rayson's asking, Are there any differences between the defense platforms and space stations that rework World War Faction? Not currently. Uh, Golans are going to be pretty ubiquitous forever for Imperial Factions. But the level 5 one, we are going to split it between the Cardin 5 and the Valadusia. Once the Cardin's in game, because Bob has redone the Cardin models, which is the base Imperial Empire at War station, so those will be used. I don't. That should be done for 3.2, but it's not guaranteed. It, it's not a super complicated thing left to do. For the stations, so it really should be done. All right, Kane's pleasure yacht. Alice favorite. Balance pass. Infatigable. I might be a Viking. No actual defenses here. Apocalypse. Eyes. Isa. Jackson. Under road. Did you finish the card in Bob, or is it just mostly done? It's gone. Boom. Someday we need to replace all the sound effects with just Foley of the Mouth. Well, Melvar, you suck. So Zinj is the infantry focused warlord. However, that infantry is far less effective in space. That's something that all Zinj players will need to keep in mind when they're playing. Is don't don't use it in space. All right, before we attack on ground there, going to save. And we're kind of approaching the end of the... Uh, the Praetor Carrier is in. We don't have, or we haven't had the, uh, the ship crews to build them yet. And we haven't had the credits to build them yet, so... I think we have one or two patron ones. But we'll be getting to that pretty soon, and then we also have the Vengeance to build up to. But we're getting towards the end of that Republic playthrough. I'm really hoping we're going to be able to do the Community Challenge next. 
uh, with this one. So the community challenge is a playthrough that I do sometimes where I'm only able to build the, the patron units, but they can only be built once. So ground units are all going to be community requested as well. So it's also going to be open to regular viewers as well as patrons, Twitch subs and all that. Uh, so I have a limit on how many units I'm able to do. It's a single planet start. And then if I, like, it's basically seeing if I can win the Galactic Conquest with just those units, whatever you guys give me. And uh, if they die, they're gone. I can't rebuild anything. And it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work to set up. And this one, I want to do the next one as uh, like a mix of just kind of random units that we don't have in any of the major factions currently. Uh, so that'll be some of the Chiss units, some of the CSA units, uh, some of the Hapen units that are done, probably some C-Ruby stuff. And I'm hoping to get the Starhawk in for that as well. So it should be like a lot of stuff that hasn't gotten a lot of focus in some of the other ones. Please don't die. Okay. Thank God. Uh, oh, speaking of Havens, a soldier just uh, ran into some problems. So I, I've made a list of like 20 of those kind of kind of units that should make for a fun mix. Cadal Bay, Battle Cruise, or Battle Dragon, Nova, Beta, Starhawk. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. All the influence units. Soon, Hapens won't even won't count for that group, so I had to get them in now. Because they're going to be turning into their own playable faction very soon. CSA already is, obviously. I had to fill up some space. So I think I put the Bulwark in or something. I might not even have used any CSA units. Let's send in Saris. That should mean Salagus is actually not defended. So... We can just go and take that. As, at least if it's just my campaign, that is not a problem with the mod more broadly. Anyways. Uh, I don't think I want to do what I just did. Because it's going to be too much of a fight up there. I want the ATPTs. We're going to get this. We'll send the Nemesis gunship over. Here we go. I'm going to send Saris to get this landing zone, at least. And then I can send Saris back and forth. Defend that as well. Get the ATPTs over here. I was asking what exactly was the Penistar's focus in ground combat supposed to be? So the Penistar alignment is more focused on their heavier vehicles. Uh... They can have some large-ish amounts of infantry, but their infantry isn't very good. Uh, or, like, it isn't good. It's not the most flexible. So, your ability to get, like, anti-vehicle rolls out of their infantry are, is pretty limited. Which means they do rely on their vehicles for more of their power. As far as that goes. Because they have like the Siege Tower. They have the Nemesis, which is one of the best uh, gunships for anti-vehicle work. And then they have some... For their like quote-unquote good infantry, they do have some more specialized infantry. But... That means that if they want to go that route, they're going to invest more in PopCap for it. So it's not impossible for them to be heavier on their infantry it just it's because it's not as flexible it's less of their focus get out oh wait no we can those are just infantry raptors I get out of there Get the other siege tower here, ATD beats. Receiving orders. Get out of there, Nemesis. As you wish. What's the plan? Alright, let's put this one in front. Adjusting course. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna get some repairs there. So that'll be here. You guys fall back a little bit. And Saris, now get over to those. Like, Zinge is the, like, quality infantry faction. So, Zinge's vehicles are more there in support of the Raptors in particular. air progression so uh all the imperials get the ads which is unlocked via air progression but air progress air progression unlocking stuff isn't really a focus for any of the warlords uh they'd be able to get stuff some stuff through legitimacy which is the imperial government mechanic but like none of the warlords were really doing a bunch of r d on new ships uh that it doesn't make sense to build the factions around that and like making up new stuff for them or trying to distribute even more units uh, when we have to spread them out so much already. So uh, most progression for Warlords will come through uh, stuff like Legitimacy. We get through there. So I guess we'll set these up a little closer. Can you kill the AA turret there? I was asking, is the ATAT -AT available through legitimacy? No. Uh, there'd be some heroes and stuff that you'd get that have ATATs, but. And you get stormtroopers that way, but it's very unlikely that we'll be making. Like, just regularly buildable ATATs out of legitimacy. Because that's a pretty core defining thing for a faction to have. Oh shit, oh shit. Didn't kill that one. Need to kill that one fast. Ferris, get over here. You guys, just right, over there. Now, send them in. Don't oh, run over them. You just drove past them. What you're here for. Let's get back to the repairs for you. Awaiting orders. And we'll start sending the infantry up there. Like, it's not like the other infantry are bad. They're, especially because they come in larger numbers, they're pretty decent for fighting other infantry, especially if you can get set up first. But they're just not going to be as flexible. You can't send a bunch of infantry that are only armed with, like, blasters after, uh, after vehicles. There. I'm gonna start retreating right now. Alright, 
Now we should be able to bomb through there. Kill this before they get even more out of it. Okay. Pull these guys back. So right now we do have a couple stormtroopers from starting forces, which will probably stick around. It makes them pretty important to keep if you want to have uh, some anti-vehicle infantry that are a bit more generalist or multi-role. Off the start is the PA in particular. So whether that leaves or not, we'll, we'll see. But I'm going to hold on to them. Yeah, the Siege Towers are definitely weak to infantry. Just having some light anti-infantry capabilities doesn't really make them great against infantry. You can see how much they've been struggling against the Raptors. Like, I think this battle has been a pretty decent demonstration of, like, how the PA is focused versus how the... Uh, how Zinj's forces are focused, even though Zinj has had a lot of heavy vehicles with the A5s from the garrisons. Uh, garrisons haven't changed as much yet, but like you can see the impact the Raptors are having and how vehicles are backing them up and everything. Receiving orders. What do you need? I will be there soon. Right away. All right, let's get out of there. Hey there, Dreton. With Saris kind of filling the role of specialized infantry. Even though she's a hero, so it's always kind of the case there. Right, you guys in there. Oh no, they killed the... Killed the nemesis. Left it alone. I will strike. I shall eliminate them. Attacking the enemy. Bombing run available for orders. Do you have a plan? All right, here we go. Uh, thank you, Spoda, for the 743 donation, saying, Love your father, Republic Mod. Any chance I can get a tip or two on improving lag and freezes in Empire War? Supposed to find his older Marv with conflicting debate. Uh, so there's really only so much you can do. It's, the big problem is that it's a it's essentially CPU-gated because it's an old game that can only use a single CPU core. Uh, so... The better your individual cores and your CPU are, the better you're going to do, but it's still only so much you're going to get out of that. If you go into the task manager and set the game to high priority, you'll get usually some better results. Uh, there are also a few settings that you can play with, like sometimes having the refresh rate is like a, a really high value is going to be a problem. So try to find, try to play around with different refresh rates. Uh, the other thing is Sarah's doing a dance. But the other thing is where is it? Disable hardware. Yeah. If you disable this, sometimes you'll get fuck. Sometimes you'll get better performance, but also it doesn't like changing settings in game, so I shouldn't have done that. Right. 
Thank you for the donation. Alright, sorry about that. We had a crash while I was showing how to change some of the settings for performance. So to recap on that, uh, setting it to high priority, uh, playing with the hardware mouse setting uh, in video options, playing with refresh rate. Just if you change any of these options in video settings and you're on Windows 10, uh, especially if you're installed to your C drive, expect it to crash when you change the settings. Don't do what I did. Don't change it in the middle of a battle. And if you're doing that, use cancel and not accept to get out. Uh, so I went back and I redid that battle. Uh, so we're we're all good now. There are probably a couple other things that I'm not thinking about. And I've been meaning to do another video just covering that exactly. But, uh, but yeah, now in the real time, a few minutes later. I, it, it, Jarek, you can get back with your forces. Oh, Jarek, you can get back with your forces like that. Aris, you can get back with your forces over there. And Brant, you can go back to your fleet. Everyone, you've all learned a lot, but it's time to go home. Building started. So we're also going to, before we finish off for the day, go to Salagus. Yeah, it's a single core game, so that really limits what it's able to use. 32 bit. If you're getting lag on the galactic level, try smaller maps. If you're getting lag on the tactical level, uh, try less fighter heavy and infantry heavy strategies. That can help sometimes too. Part of why we're rearranging some of the forces, so we're trying to cut back on simultaneous fighter usage. Probably still needs a little work. We are still doing pretty well out here. But I don't know if they're going to be successful at rooting out the Greater Maldrood. We go for Junction next. I'm I'm still kind of concerned about the CSA over there. Building. So I'm going to try to build up Tangrin as a more defensive planet. We've got the Hypervelocity gun here. It's There's no reason to build a mine there. Q-Trick, or a tax agency rather. Q-Trick there is. And... I don't think we're going to go for Dathomir just yet. Maybe we will, and maybe I should just send Grant back over here to go for Dathomir. Well, we should be good this side to go for Junction. That'll cut Zinj off, or cut Dathomir off from the rest of Zinj's forces. And Linnad, I think it's worth us... Paying the money for a probe droid here. It's 500 credits, but I think it'll be 500 credits of value. High value for us. Yeah, so I was mentioning earlier about the... Uh, the next community challenge playthrough. Uh, depending on how that goes, we'll either have that or do another TR preview. Uh, I don't think we're going to do CIS just yet in Fall of the Republic until some other changes have been made. So that'll mean another poll on who we do. It might even be the CSA that we play next with the ship market. Alright, Devastator. Rendar's Revenge R. Firekite. Our Lord. Bomber Bucket. Yes, sir. Better Blub. Entry. Heading to destination. We're on the 
Triangle. I'm going to send the bombers for the VST, because I think we're going to be done with this before they get into position. It's not the biggest enemy force. It'd be nice to not lose Devastator, though, if we can. Yeah, having stuff not path around each other weirdly and it's definitely been a benefit for the AI. Ooh, we might even... yeah, we might still lose you. You... A medium ion or turbo turbo our target priority is couple open fire on light. light weapons charged those laser banks see if we can save it uh, like we might be able to uh, just engines left on it we got the, the raid fleet. We got a New Republic raid fleet. Copy. I copy. Report. Ah. Awaiting your command. Sir. Ah. Star Destroyer standing by. Right, everyone needs to work together to save the engines on this from the dreadnought. For a long time, we've talked about the potential uses of a mod launcher, like a, just a dedicated launcher for TR and for, like for any EAW expanded stuff, I guess. And usually the end result is like, yeah, there's some stuff we could do that looks cool, but what's the point? And I've been thinking stuff like the pathing prediction lines and that kind of thing. Just like uh, basically turning into a config file setup that can make some XML changes would be the primary purpose of that if we ever did get to it. Like Pox is, Pox has kind of always wanted one and then uh, Sheen did some like mock-ups of some art but it's just like there, there's never been a reason to do that but I think that kind of thing would be useful. We already have to wait enough. Our crews are here. Well, at least these are engines, so I can. Weapons online. There. Advance. So many targets. Go the Liberator. So little time. Crews are standing by. Your command, sir. Weapons ready. Weapons ready, sir. That. The market function for ground. Uh, I would like to be able to do that. It probably we probably won't be able to make the CSA market work on ground stuff for the first release of it, because ground companies are always a bit weirder than working with space stuff in EAW. So I'd like to do that, but it'll take some extra work. We'll want the, the heavy bombers on C. Should have focused on one thing. Uh, 
this one. Like, yeah, there's a pretty wide variety of stuff we'd be able and willing to put on the on the market. The only thing we have to keep in mind there uh, and be careful of is that if it's available, if a unit's available to a faction, the AI is going to basically always be cycling through it. Uh, so we don't want to put too much on those functions. Because that could introduce a big source of lag. We gotta be careful there. Yeah, like the upgrade lag in PR. There would technically be some ways around that that are just less clear for the player. So I don't want to go that direction, but it'd be it'd be possible if we had to. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. And I think that's also going to do it for the stream for today. I'm going to record another Penistar episode for this week, but unfortunately the, uh, the saga of Axilla ate into a bit too much of our time there, and the episodes were a little bit longer than I'd intended overall but there will be potentially another stream tonight of mass effect depending on how uh how other work goes and how dinner goes dinner should be done by then but either way but we've also got mass effect coming tomorrow night for those watching on twitch uh this episode may or may not be up on youtube by then we should have the return of tour this week with slevered back from vacation we got edge of despair on sunday so a lot of fun stuff coming up Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far and looking forward to with Ron's Revenge 3.2 and Father Republic 1.2. But I should go. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.